is Valerie from Vintage Art Lady and I just wanted to let you know that I just got in some new products so we're going to do some unboxing and as you can see behind me creativity is messy and I'm very creative so I just wanted to let you know that's what that mess is behind me. So anyway let's get going and unboxing these fun things that will be down at Timeless hopefully this evening or first thing tomorrow morning and I can't wait for you to see them all. Alrighty I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here's the box. Here's some goodies over here. And then as I unpack, and we will talk about them. All right, I'm excited. Okay, here we are on the whole unboxing. So first off, let me introduce the, well, what I already, already carry right here. So I just got this back in today. So this is the clear gesso, the black gesso. I also carry the white gesso. Um, this is all the Art Basics, and this is the Finnevere line, a great mixed media line, and she's got beautiful things and fun things to play with. All kinds of different paste. She's got the, the light paste, and I already got in the um, snowflake paste that has some glitter to it as well. This one's a fun fun one to use, of course, during the holidays, but even other times, too, whenever you want a little, little bit of shimmer to it. Of course, I carry her... Um, the model the modeling paste the plaster the um her 3d gels her um any kind of gel mediums the heavy body gels everything that you need to do any of your mixed media product so i love her line as you can tell with all the goodies that i carry i also carry the the rust paste and so one of the things i'm trying i I don't have them in the store yet, but I'm going to order more after I try them. This is Old Walls, Northern Lights, and Junkyard Treasures. So when you put the three of these together, they're going to give you a um, just a different look that will give you some texture, some fun colors, to give you just some backgrounds. What I use now is, um, which we do have in the store, is the Patina. This is the Patina one. I have the mint green, the blue. And the brass makes a beautiful, beautiful effects on your thing. They come in the small packages like this as well. and um, Or you can order them. I can special order them in the larger if you do love them. I got the larger ones for myself to be able to do some of my products. And then also is the rust. And that comes with the red rust, the brown rust, and the yellow. But they back ordered the yellow on me. But in the small kit, you'll get all three. Again, this size. And it'll be your metal for, for your rusty metals. I also got in um, some different, um, the, the metallic or metallic, however you want to say it. Um, this is the aged brass, but I, I got, I carry all of the colors in all of her, um, the antique brilliance, the metallic, and the opal. So I have all colors at Timeless. They are just beautiful. These are just a few that I have open. So here's the Vintage Gold, which is number one seller for me because it goes just about on anything and gives it a highlight. But it, it's different than the aged brass. The brass is going to be more of a true gold, more of a really gold gold. The Vintage Gold has that, you know, that little bit of aged look to it. Uh, bronze Age, which is fun. And I have the Rich Copper as well. That's going to give you that bronzy bronzy effect but on these colors oh like the peacock oh I just love this one right here is just so rich and creamy and pigmented and they can be on your art projects they can be on furniture they are permanent when they dry so that is some products I got in as well as the new sparks colors so I love all the new sparks colors this one right here is Chest of Gold. Look at the shimmer in that. Isn't that pretty? Chest of Gold. Let's see. Green Goblin. Green Goblin. That's that's pretty. Um, this one here is the Phoenix Feather. Really pretty as well. All these are very shimmery, very rich looking colors. Um, the And Enchanted with the pink. And then here is the Night Shadow which I did open this one just to see. You can see that how pretty, because it's on my, it got on my, underneath my finger now when I opened it earlier. But look how rich and pretty that color is. Very liquidy, ready to play with it. 
So these are acrylics. Um, and so I have these five new colors in the sparks. And then I just got two colors in the metallics. Um, metallic. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. And this one right here is hazelnut. And this one is stormy ocean. But I will have more of the new colors in these as well when the, they were back ordered. So I will have more of those coming in. So as far as Finnebear, that's what I got in on this haul. So in, in my in my watercolors, I got the Gonzai Tambi, Tambi, I don't know what you want to call it. I already carry the smaller one, which is just the 12, but I did get the 18 color set. Highly pigmented, really pretty. It is a beautiful watercolor, and you can do a lot with it. They also have it coming up for the holidays. You know, I know we don't want to think about that in June, but... You know, if it's anybody else is like me, it takes them forever to make stuff. So I have to start now. Um, so we have the gem colors, the pearl colors, and the starry colors, which you can highlight. And so I'll be doing some, um, just some videos that'll show how to, how to kind of use these to give you an idea of what you could do for some cards or even just some of your own artwork. I also like the... Faber Castell, um, the aqua pens, the watercolor pencils, I mean. Um, they're very pretty, light, and good, rich colors. So those um, are in the store as well, waiting. Just get on down there if you want to do some watercolor. And then I also love my new from, let's see, because I can't talk. It's from Stamperia which I just, I actually love their whole line. I got in stencils. So these are the, there's already some down at the store, but these are some new ones or reorders. So um, these are good that you can use on furniture. You can use them on your artwork. Um, it's just a nice, nice, pretty patterns that they have. So we have this one, kind of the leafy, leafy look right there. A couple of borders on this one here. Let's see, this one um, with the butterflies and the writing and then just the circles where you could do your own. I think this is a bow up in the top there too. So it just gives you some added on stencils for your artwork. Love this one because who doesn't love chocolate? We need that right there. Um, this would be really pretty, I think, like if you were doing tiles or something that you were, you could do it individually and highlight them. Because I do want to try to do some stuff on my tiles with my Dixie Belle in my bathroom to cover up some really, really old rows. If I do that, we'll try and take a video of it. Um, another pretty mixed media one that you can add corners, just little backgrounds. It'd be great to use the, the paste on these to give them a little raised edge. It would even be beautiful to use the icing paste because this these are rich and creamy and they'd be perfect to put over something because they, they are permanent and raised when they're uh, when they're dry and they give it such a, a fun shimmer. And those are the icing paste by Finnebear. Um, some more borders that you can just do individually, which is kind of nice to give you quite a few in just one. Um, the dragonfly, which is one I already carried but sold out of. And then the wings. The wings are one of my favorites. You can put them on different things. I did this set of wings on a mannequin rice paper, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, um, that I just got back in stock. These are great for walls, furniture, and of course your mixed media as well, but they're a little bit larger. So these are fun, um, you know, different, different patterns that you can use. Um, I, I could see that like highlighted on a painted wall. It'd be really pretty. I always love anything with music notes. A backdrop on a great piece of art would be great. More borders, which are always nice. We always need different borders. And then the butterfly. Be brave. Feel free. You know, something we always, always love. So those are some fun new stencils that I have. And then, da 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 My rice papers. Love my rice papers. Okay, so they have the Alice in Wonderland line that they, they've done. And I have some of these already at the store. This is just one that was back ordered, so I got it. I just got it in. Um, 
always florals, lots of pretty florals in this paper. This is this is a really thin. Let me see. I have if I have one. This is a really thin paper, rice paper, that I'll open up this one that's mine that I'm playing with next. All about the steampunk. Right here. So it's very, very thin. So flexible, thin. You can see all the fibers in there for the rice paper. So what I like to do is take like just a wet brush and, um, you know, just do a wet brush and go like this when it's wet to pull it apart. And that way you have some nice, you know, it doesn't, it's not just a straight line. It gives you, it'll melt into your project a little bit more. But really fun, like I said, very flexible. Can go around corners, can do whatever you need with them. And added to any art project, even on furniture, I think they're great. Um, so again, we have the flowers with the, with the bird. Um, the Rosa, which is very, really pretty. Kind of some different vintage look, color to that. Um, Oh, that one's really pretty. So this is new, but this is like a little French, French theme that you could do on different things. I like, I like them. You can make, put them on cards. You can do different things just to give it a different look. Um, let's see. The clocks, the favorite. They go along really well with that right there. Um, and as well as with this one here goes really pretty with that too so um it's a whole they have i have a whole kind of line with this this vintage clock the time traveler well that one's really pretty you could do a lot with this one because you could again like i said take your paintbrush and use these little pieces on different things you could do it on a on a candle holder on on a on a jar on, you know whatever to decorate it and there's a lot of things that you could you know use each little individual piece on that um, the botanicals, flowers, really pretty, would go on candles, different things like that. Oh, look at the colors in that one. I think I'm drawn to a lot of the greens and blues lately. I like the whole patina look, the, the richness of those colors. Very pretty together. And she's very contemplative, but this would be a really pretty one that you could put on to like a a sign or a board that you were doing and then embellish her with um with different uh i don't know embellishments as i say embellish so it, it should be really pretty to do a piece of artwork more flowers and flowers love this one i have a sample at the store and it's really pretty with the dragonflies butterflies um, it's a great background piece and then the dreamer Never let it be said that to dream is a waste of one's time, for dreams are our realities in waiting. In dreams, we plant the seeds of our future. That's us, crafty people. We're planting our seeds with all of our artwork. Some more flowers, because flowers are beautiful, and they're great backgrounds, highlights, foregrounds, different colors. Look at that tulip. That's a pretty color. Roses. She's fun. Put a bunch of flowers up there with her hair, you know, to give her a 3D effect. That would be fun on a piece of art as well. Been around a while, but still pretty. Great background. Flowers. Shockingly enough. Well, she's pretty. She's the ba a ballerina. That would be really pretty, like on a little girl's jewelry box or a little, um, or on a little chest that you had, you know, for her. That would be really pretty on a little girl, in a little girl's room. Birds. We all need birds. Birds, birds, birds. I love birds. That's pretty. The cafes. Room is on the fonts. There we go. That was a little bit of my friend right there. This is the one that I use those wing stencil with. So this is a mannequin, and I embellished her and put things on top. It was fun. I really enjoyed this one, and I would love to do it again. Another mannequin, because I'm having a mannequin obsession right now. I'm loving doing all the different things. Another one as well, where you could put some wings coming off of her. That would look neat. You know, cover up the pink ones and maybe go with some, some uh, raised ones. Music. 
That's really pretty. That would be really pretty with that stencil, that musical stencil that we were talking about. And that was the clocks I was showing you with the other butterflies, because butterflies go great with flowers. Dragonfly. That one's pretty cute. Some more. Like, as opposed to some of the other ones, I do like that this has the white background. And then this one has the white background. I love this hydrangea one. Both of these are really pretty. So you don't have to do an aged look. You could do it more of a crisp, crisp art look. This dragonfly is beautiful. Creativity is the greatest expression of liberty. Yes, I believe. I believe that. And then a couple of the holiday ones that I've gotten in. And then I have their whole... I already pre-ordered their two, two or three holiday lines that they have coming out. And I already pre-ordered them. So that'll be exciting. And then this is one, just one I've tried. This is their, um, it's a big napkin. And I'm going to try it. So let's see how big this is. So this is the only design I got in because I hadn't tried one this large yet. So um, this, I wanted to see something that would maybe go on the front of a dresser or on top. So again, it is a napkin, so it's just larger. It's just larger. Look at that. Look how pretty that would be. Feather it and make it, oops, and then I have it upside down, so that would be even better. So yeah, that would be really pretty. So they do have these larger ones, not a lot, but I did order this one to try. I'll let you know, and I'll look for some new ones as well. Alrighty. So that is what I got in new. Besides, I did get in some new journals, mixed media journals. Sorry, I had to reach back to get it because I try to carry the whole line of the, the visual journals uh, from Strathmore. So I carry them in the two sizes, the mixed media, the watercolor, and the Bristol because the Bristol oh, is great for any of your pins. It's so smooth and you can write some beautiful, you know, do some brush writing on them. They're really pretty. But the mixed media, it, it'll hold the water well, but it's a little smoother versus the watercolor is perfect for any of your watercolor um, things that you have going on. Alrighty, and I think I missed something from Finnebear, which I do believe it was. Let's look. Let me move this real quick. And that is, I missed. Her liquid acrylics. I got in some of the colors um, were back ordered, so I got them in. And these are all the different colors. She's got 12 different colors, plus white and black. And so all of these are, you see my messy, my messy container. Um, all of these are the liquid acrylics, and they are so pigmented, and they're beautiful. So if you haven't, if you are looking for a really good liquid acrylic line, I would, I would go for this. Um, and you can, you know, just make them into washes. You can do so many things with them. Love, love, love them. Alrighty, that is what is new at Vintage Art Lady, where artful accidents happen happen every day. So I invite you to come and join me at timeless furnishings and see all the goodies that i carry Alrighty, next next time we'll have a little bit more fun all right bye